Five years ago, I was here in this same week when I was wanting to become your U.S. Senator. The weather was just as chilly, but the difference would be students for life. And they've been in my office a time or two out in D.C. If we're going to win this battle in the long run, it's got to be the youth in this group. To think, you're talking about, I remember where I was in 1973. 73, when the judicial activists put Roe versus Wade in place, I was just starting out in life as a freshman Wabash College. Look how long we had to wait to get it turned around. Let's give a big hip hip array for our Supreme Court that finally stuck its neck out and did it. <laughs> October of 2018, I remember I in an office here in uh, Indy and Someone had to make a vote out there about what they were going to do about Judge Kavanaugh. You know, I don't know how, what that played into my being here, but I think something resonated then, and thank goodness that Kavanaugh got across the finish line. And one of my proudest moments of being in the Senate is when one of our own, Amy Coney, Barrett was the fi final piece to the puzzle to get us where we are today. You heard Mike earlier. It's easy for stuff to retrench. It's easy to backslide. But we've never been in a spot where we got more opportunity to protect the sanctity of life. There you go. Second emotion. And let's make sure that we support our students for life. The big difference in the crowd today is the fact there are a lot more young people. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you.